Hey freedom lovers, I thought I'd talk a little bit today about the solar electric system that I have set up for the off-grid cabin. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but I've got the camera zoomed way in. And I have two 100 watt solar panels there and there. So uh, I'll go inside and I'll show you the whole chain from the panels all the way down. I'm gonna peek up in the attic and try to show you. All right. I don't know if you can see the red and black wires. They come in down that pole through the floor. Okay, you got the um red wire coming in there and this is um i think six gauge wire i had to use of course you would have to size your system appropriately comes across through the beam there goes down into uh, a run that i built here that's not closed in yet and into the solar charge controller. This is an MPPT, Maximum PowerPoint Tracking Solar tra Charge Controller. The black and red wires come in from the photovoltaic panels here. And the battery is connected here. Red wire goes back through into the chase. Black wire goes back through into the chase and then goes down to the battery bank. The wires come in here to black wire comes over here, charges three. 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate batteries wired at 12 volts in parallel. And then to run things in the house, I built these huge cables out of, I think they're like quadruple zero <laughs> welding cables out of welding wire comes up here through a 200 amp breaker, marine grade breaker, up into a 2000 watt, 4000 watt peak inverter, pure sine wave inverter. I took a chance on a Chinese company called Micro Solar they were on Amazon. Um, I can't find them selling these anymore on Amazon. This is probably just something that's manufactured in China and branded under many different Chinese companies. But I'll have to look up how many years I've had this. It's been maybe even close to six or seven years now. So it's been working. So the power comes in this end. And this goes, this, I'm upstairs in the cabin right now, so it's all unfinished. Not that the downstairs is that much more finished, but I have it all run in, through the joists. And this goes downstairs. Through those openings there. Comes through the floor. It's in the wall now behind the drywall to a generator switch. And then, you know, down through the wall, a weather radio there into the breaker box. And it's able to run. 
microwave, this refrigerator, um, this laptop. Pretty much, it will run pretty much anything that you want to run in an on grid, in an on grid house. The charge controller also has a DC load controller, which comes out of here, goes through this fuse bank, the DC fuse bank. It runs a couple of 12 volt lights in the house and it runs this pump. And each thing, each appliance is on a separate fuse. The, this is um, just a remote controller for that MPPT charge controller I showed you. And the DC load center is pretty cool because you can do things like, when I'm not here, I set it up so that I have a light that's just, I leave on and I set it on time control so that it will turn on when it gets dark and stay on overnight, um, just as a safety precaution. And then when I am here, I put it on manual control, which is kind of neat because on manual control, all you have to do is press this button and it will switch the load center. So anything that's switched on in the house will turn on. This comes in really handy at night. You just press this button when you want to turn your lamp on and off. Like that. And you come back from paying a visit to outdoors. And it's just nice to have on your nightstand for turning lights on and off easily during the night. There's a couple of neat features with that. And just to show you right now, the sun's out and we're getting just under 10 amps charge. You can see the battery is happy, almost at full voltage. And we just hit 10 amps. This is really cool for monitoring, so I don't have to go upstairs to see what's going on. This runs through the floor as well through a Cat5 cable. And I just keep it down here so I can see what's going on outside. 10 amps, pretty cool. Thanks for watching, freedom lovers.